We're tracking a developing story tonight out of Washington State University. The student newspaper, The Daily Evergreen, reports Jason Gesser, a prominent member of the Cougar Athletic Fund, has been accused of sexual harassment. Gesser is the assistant athletic director for the Cougar Athletic Fund. He spent four years as an analyst for IMG Sports Radio, just replaced last month. Gesser was the quarterback for the Cougs from 1998 to 2002. He led the team to the Rose Bowl in 2003. Tonight in the story you saw first on KXOI4, Taylor Graham found out that the school knew about these allegations, but Taylor Gesser wasn't punished. That's right, Nadine. This report from the Daily Evergreen details a complaint filed with the university's Office of Equal Opportunity. Multiple athletic department employees and WSU President Kirk Schultz are reported to have known about the accusations against Gesser, which date back to 2014. He's accused of having a sexual relationship with his intern, who was a student athlete at WSU. A former athletic department employee told investigators Gesser made advances towards her as well and sent her suggestive texts while they were at work. The report says Gesser used WSU money to pay for a woman to come to the university's Cougar Legend fundraiser, even though she wasn't a student athlete. WSU President Schultz is reported to have known about Gesser's behavior. Now, Schultz, along with De athletic director Pat Chun, released a joint statement today in response to that article, saying in part, quote, human resources staff work with Director of Athletics Pat Chun to directly address with Mr. Gesser the issues raised in the report. It is important to reiterate the university followed its established procedures to review the matter and found no violation of Washington State University policy. The allegations were taken seriously and addressed at the appropriate level. KXLY put in a public records request for this university investigation, and Gesser did not respond when we reached out for a comment. The Evergreen says its findings contradict that university response. For the full statement, along with that daily Evergreen report, you can go to our website at kxly.com. We have all the information there. In studio tonight, Taylor Graham, KXLY 4 News. Thank you, Taylor.